I say, do the most beautiful gold digger challenge. I just thought it was funny they started off that way. Here's the rules. You must have 100% in looks by the age of 30. Well, I think I'm well off towards that goal. Not really. You cannot have a job for longer than five years so you can pay for plastic surgery because, you know, that's what gold diggers do. You gotta marry a wealthy person and make them sign a prenup so that when you divorce them, you get most of the money. Of course, that's like rule number one in a gold diggers uh, challenge, right? Your goal is to be the most beautiful and wealthy gold digger. You fail the challenge if you don't die with at least 100,000 net worth. When I was PewDiePie, I had 12 million uh, net worth, so I think I think I know a thing or two about BitLife, all right, guys? Today, we're going to do the Gold Digger Challenge. If you missed PewDiePie's challenge last time, where we earned uh, $12 million, um, <laughs> it actually got to 100 years old, which uh, you, you, can, you can give me a little bit of a clap there. Oh, God. It made a noise. <laughs> yeah, check it out if you missed it. Thank you guys for giving me so many challenges. There's a lot of them I want to do, and i seen this one, and it really caught my eye. I want to do this one. All right, so for this one, we obviously got to be a... Well, I mean, you know, you could be a, a male gold digger, I guess, but I feel like that's not as common. And I don't want that to sound bad. That's just what it seems like, all right? I'm, I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of male uh, gold diggers out there, okay? I don't know if we've ever done a challenge being a female, so let's freaking do it. I feel like the way we should approach this is like a... um, What's that TLC show? Married in... 90 days is basically the one where they have to get married in 90 days. I, we should do that, okay? We're gonna get on that Tinder, okay, and uh, message someone from America. That way we can get that green card, okay? So we should be from Ethiopia. I have no idea where that is, to be honest, but that sounds foreign. I'm from Addis Ababa, okay. I was born a female in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. My mother is a virgin. The circumstances as to how I was conceived are per <laughs> perplexing. Perplexing is probably a good word for that. I don't know how you did that either. I think we might be the son of God. We're a Leo. My name is El Shade. My mother is Jeanette Tariku, a firefighter, age 25. A girl firefighter. Hey, hey, independent. My father is unknown. Yeah, so <laughs> did this happen during her shift as a firefighter? <laughs> okay, so I forgot the most one of the most important things to this challenge is to obviously have really really good looks and wow We have 89% looks so we you know we only need maybe just a little bit of plastic surgery So we just have to have 100% in looks by age 30. Okay, so I think we already almost got that our smarts are not very good Which is kind of perfect for a gold digger. They don't have to be that smart to be conniving I really just want to find true love in America age one nothing <laughs> I don't have Tourette's like I know that's a serious thing, but like I make weird noises and I don't I don't know why I do it I just Okay, whooping cough. We got whooping cough <laughs> Distractions <laughs> I think the hardest part about this challenge is going to be finding a really really rich guy But thank God we have the dating app that will just do all the work for us We got to start somewhere being a gold digger like we know we know what we want to do from birth So that means we got to start being friends with all the kids with the crayons that we like so we can take their crayons You know you think a girl likes you until she takes your crayons. It's scary. It's scary You got to be careful who you date for the girls too all right, those men will take your crayons as well. We need to leave Ethiopia. I graduated from high school at 14? Either we're geniuses or that's like actually a thing in other parts of the world. Okay, so we take our uh, driving test at 18 years old. Honestly, I think it's so cool that BitLife actually teaches you things. Depending on what country you're from, that you do certain things at certain ages. I like that a lot. Uh, four way. I'm resisting the urge to pick the second option. At age 19, I had a dream that I won a Grammy. We're already getting the mindset of a gold digger. <laughs> Except that's actually something we have to earn, which is not going to go very well for us. So I guess for now, what we need to do is get a job, but we, we gotta remember we cannot keep a job for five years because that's not what a gold digger does. We're not trying to get money ourselves. I want a man to do it for me. Or a woman. It doesn't really matter. I'm going for a man because obviously that's just what I do. So, I mean, no, it's not what I do, but you get the point. <laughs> uh, it's getting harder to, to defend myself every day now. And the hair isn't helping either, I'm sure. All right, let's, let's be a janitor. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing these janitor things. Why can't a man just come sweep me off my feet from America, please? Oh, you know what we need to do, though, is get on social media. That way we can meet said uh, gold diggy. <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> I am a gold digger. I'm looking for the gold dig e gold diggy <laughs> Gotta get on that tinder. Oh, we already got eleven thousand dollars now see this I, Our looks are really good right now. And in fact, they're going up 91% I think they were less than that now I'm scared to get plastic surgery because sometimes when you get plastic surgery It doesn't work out very well for us. I'm going to take the risk 
and I gotta get my looks to 100% uh, before 30. So I'm going to use what little money I have to get, uh, what's a good one? Breast augmentation. Okay, how much does that cost? Oh, I have enough. Look at that. All right, I really hope surgery's good in Ethiopia because we're going for it. Get the surgery. <gasps> Feeling a little stiff. Your breast augmentation was successful. <laughs> we got to get the breasticles looking great. So I think we've got that so far. Oh my God, that's exactly what we needed. That was the only thing we needed. 100%. Okay, now it's time. We're only 20 years old. So we already busted that challenge right there. Okay, so we're 20. We got the bazoongas. <laughs> I'm ready to go date. Okay, I think it's... I think it's time to go. It's time. I'm ready to find some true love. Okay, so dating app. It's obviously what we're gonna need. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, yeah. There it is. There it is. My desired age is anyone from 20 to 29, uh, 100k plus. Let's try. No luck. Why? D do they realize what I look like? Do they realize the surgery I just got? Why didn't that work? Okay, it just, uh, so it doesn't matter. We can go as old as we want. Maybe the more money they make, the older they'll be. So we'll do like 40 to 49. 100k plus. <gasps> it actually works. His smarts are a little too high. I want him to be dumb as well. But depending on how good our surgery went, I don't think it'll matter. <laughs> He's gonna fall for this. Oh wait, no, I was supposed to like go to another country, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do that. Because I'm trying to stick I'm trying to be a TLC show right now. So I guess let's try to immigrate and see if we can. Okay, so my options are only United Kingdom. Mexico, Nigeria. Um, well, I was thinking of America, but let's ju just try that. A fresh start. You quit your job as a janitor for F Fountainhead Automotive. You have immigrated to Manchester, United Kingdom. Okay. Oh, wow. it even changes your money. I don't think I've ever actually done that. So, yeah, that's our only option. So, I guess we're going to go to the Uni United Kingdom. I mean, that's I'm sure it's great there, too. I've never been there, <laughs> nor do I know much about it. But, again, we're going to try to persist in finding the perfect... <laughs> so if you guys missed the PewDiePie challenge, uh, I put the custom characters as a uh, T-Series Bic Lasagna and uh, apparently that's a person. Oh my god. <laughs> when I actually do the PewDiePie challenge, they are nowhere to be found. I tried searching for T-Series everywhere, but as soon as I, I, I go for the Gold Digger challenge, that's when T-Series comes up. Does that say something about T-Series? Should we know something about T-Series? Do, they don't want just subscribers, they want the money too. Oh wait, no, I want the money. I'm confusing myself and everyone watching. Oh, but he's got money though. Oh, you know, he's not super filthy rich, but I guess we can marry more than one person, right? So let's give him a chance. Start dating him. My one out of 7.422 billion. That's what, that's what we say to all of them. Okay, so he's in the Navy. I see. But how do we know how much money exactly does, like, how much money does he have? We need to know this. Alright, so now they've been promoted to seaman, so they're just getting richer and richer, but I would imagine if you're in the Navy, you have to be really high up to have a lot of money. I don't really know how that works, but I don't think you make that much money. Like, you're not filthy rich. Like, I'm looking, I'm looking for millions, okay? I am preggers! Wait, is that, that's not something we want, right? They didn't say anything about that. Wait, okay, you know, I'm being very rash about this. Babies are great for keeping people committed to us, to keep the money flowing. I don't really care about the baby, but whatever gets them to marry us. <laughs> well, we're about to find out. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we're gonna keep the baby. Yay, I am having T-Series baby. <laughs> baby shower. <laughs> oh no, everything in the house is gonna be red. <laughs> we are enemies of more than like, what, 80 million uh, people thanks to PewDiePie? But I'm a fan of PewDiePie. This is gonna complicate everything, which is why this is a top secret mission to destroy T-Series by taking their money. Oh my god, this is actually the PewDiePie challenge all along. We're ruining T-Series, that way PewDiePie will succeed, oh my god. It's like, it just, it's just like the circle of life. I can see the video now. I got breast implants to promote PewDiePie? Click bait thumbnail right there, come on, I just gave someone an idea. I mean, I don't know how that helped you in the long run, but I can see how it helps my situation, and that's, yeah, yeah, probably don't take that idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not expect to have a baby with T-Series this episode, but I'm glad it happened. Oh, <laughs> you just had a baby son. What would you name him? Um, Abune? No, thank you. Let's be really jacked up and name him PewDiePie. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. If this mission is for uh, PewDiePie, we're gonna name our baby Sub to PewDiePie. Wow, that just looks like a weird name now. <laughs> Sub to PewDiePie, big lasagna. <laughs> oh my god. That's like the biggest slap in the face of T-Series, like, possible. It's my baby boy, Sub to PewDiePie, big lasagna lasagna. His smarts are low too, he must get it from his mother. You know, I gotta say, like, that name matches the smarts that I have, so... You can't say nothing. Okay, so now the mission is to obviously... We gotta check to see how much our man... 
How much money does he possibly have? Oh, and our looks are okay. Our looks are going down. I guess I should go to the gym. You think? Will that help it? Oh, I'm in debt. I'm in negative one thousand. How am I in debt? I thought we had money. Oh wait, we're not married yet. Oh dang, I need to propose. We already have a baby, so I guess I will. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't say that, but like we're getting really antsy. Okay, it's just suspicious. That's all. But I don't care. He'll fall for it. Propose marriage. He said yes. Your boyfriend T-Series accepted your marriage proposal, even after what we named our baby. Now I've never done it this way. Like being a guy, it's really it was really easy. But we gotta like ignore the crap out of our husband or do something bad to him. Can we do something bad to him? There's always the option of murder, though. But that's that's when we find out how much money he has. <laughs> that, that could be part of the plan. Oh, but he's our fiance now. Oh, we're actually not married. I, I'm jumping the gun. We need to like plan the wedding. Do I have to do that too? Man, I gotta do everything. Okay, plan our wedding. <laughs> There's a drive through wedding chapel. That's classy. That's very classy. Let's do it. Oh, wait, I don't have any money though. Actually, never mind. <laughs> your fiance T series is nagging you to buy a car for your growing family. What will you do? Well, he was the one with the money. Why do I have to be the provider? So it's interesting that like even if we pick a guy or a girl like our responsibilities don't really change Okay, I got a thousand dollars, but I, st I still need three thousand. Why is this paying? How do I make a thousand in a year? I thought my salary was twelve million dollars. Tw <laughs> wow, I guess we wouldn't need a gold digger if I made that much Maybe there's somewhere really really cheap. We can get married a beach with no honeymoon. Yeah, that, there we go I can afford this do it. Oh, his net worth is only 79. Oh my god. T-Series. With all those subscribers, I thought you'd have some more money. All right. Well, we've already spent this time. Make him sign a prenup. Obviously, my net worth. <laughs> so this is not a very even trade right here. I really have nothing to lose. So let's do this. Okay, we are now, we are now shackled to T-Series. It's very scary. Oh my god. I kind of do want to change my name to Bic Lasagna. <laughs> I will be Mrs. Teriku Bic Lasagna. Yay. I love it. It's so amazing. You know, even if I don't get no money, I got something amazing. More amazing than money. Big lasagna. Okay, now time to ruin his life. But the thing is, I, I don't I don't exactly know how it works, but I think if we divorce him, he gets our money or we don't take that much. Okay, I'm now I'm now quitting my job. I'm resigning. We don't need we don't need jobs. I'm living that gold digger life right now. Instead, I'm gonna go to the gym. Now let's go clubbing. That's exactly what would happen. <laughs> he goes to the Navy while I go clubbing. Some of your friends are sipping Cognac. Order me one. I don't even know what it is. And I feel like if we were to be a true gold digger, we would cheat on him too. So let's do that. You had a one night stand with Aldi Simpson. You hope he impregnated you. We're horrible. Our enjoyment was way too much. <laughs> okay, that just took our smarts right out. It just obliterated our smarts. And our, we're so happy though. Look at that happy face. <laughs> How do I make him hate my guts? I mean, we can cheat on him. Oh, that's actually it. We can just keep cheating until he decides to divorce us. Yeah, that's the perfect, that's the perfect thing. Oh, what if we find a date that has a lot of money as well? <gasps> He's got so much money. He's 40. Ed Carter. Yes. Ask him on a date. He rejected you. He wants to know why you're asking him out when you already have a husband. I, I do not have a husband. I don't even, I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, <laughs> I found Brad 1. Oh, that was Brad 2. Dang it. I keep, <laughs> I keep missing them. Please just divorce us, dude. Oh, he's ready. <laughs> so I guess, <laughs> I thought this whole time he didn't know we were cheating. <laughs> T-Series knows a lot. Well, I'm hoping all this time that's passing, he's getting more money because we need 100k. Sure, let's apply for the circus. <laughs> what would we do at the circus? Gather around, everybody. Watch this girl steal money and be a horrible person. While getting a manicure, you come across a grocery cart filled with something that appears to be opium. What will you do? Sell it. Oh, I went to jail. Oh, whoopsie. All I can say is that I really hope the public defender will... Okay. So the worst part about this is I was fired from the circus. I really like that job. Okay, so a T-Series wants to divorce me. This is my chance. Wish him well. You know, I really, I really wish you well. I, I wish you well, okay? You didn't say in the challenge I couldn't be in prison. Wish him well. The judge has recognized your pre agreement and has therefore determined that no settlement amount is required to finalize your divorce. Wait. That's not... Do I get money? I'm staying as Bic Lasagna, though. I didn't get any money. 
I didn't get any money. Apparently, I don't know how marriage works, so, okay. <laughs> oh, no, my mother died, and she only gave me 3,000 pounds. On your way to the movie theater, you witness a gypsy flying a drone. What will you do? Look the other way. I don't know why that's a bad thing. I still never understood it. Your supervisor at Daphne's Diner has taken a liking to you and asked you to go to dinner with him. You're worried that it will make your co-workers jealous. I will decline. Or wait, no, do it. Your enjoyment. Your supervisor's enjoyment. Yeah, ever since I got this plastic surgery, everyone's freaking oogling me all the time. All right, so we got a little bit of cash money now we can finally use the freaking dating app okay so i searched and i got this guy it says his money is not that good so i don't know I, let's go on a date anyway i thought i swear i looked at it for one second i thought it said you were now dating markiplier i was like hot diggity dog <laughs> i mean we still did the challenge we we got to 100 percent you just had to stay there but just in case we'll get that plastic surgery okay let's get a brazilian butt lift please actually work it was successful oh that brought us to 93 so I guess our butt was sagging. Oh, God. And then we'll also get liposuction. Because we probably gained weight in prison. Maybe. All right, that's what did it. Boy, I am now a hot tin again. Let's see if he wants to uh, marry us. He rejected it. Never mind. This guy doesn't want to have a baby. What does he want then? Break up. <sighs> Wish him well. This isn't turning out like I wanted it to at all. Do we still have a chance? <laughs> okay, okay. It's Charlie? Charlie, don't let me down, Charlie. Let's go on a date. Okay, the, the looks are what's saving us, okay, you know? Oh, hey, I'm getting a pay raise. I might not even have to be a gold digger at this point. Oh, wait, how many years have I been at this job? Oh, dear lord. Did I just fail the challenge? I think I freaking did. Oh, dang, I wasn't even- I forgot about the job. Okay, but we'll do it again. <laughs> I'm sorry, dang it, I didn't mean to work. I didn't mean to have an honest living. I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to actually be responsible for once. It was an accident. I'm sorry, guys, please. Please, I'll do it again. All right, let's do it again. This isn't working. If I can't be a gold dicker, I obviously have to end it all. So let's go to activities. <laughs> okay, in this life. Sorry, Bic Lasagna. Oh, didn't we hit the looks jackpot once again? All right, I'm sticking with this. Okay, so we got it. We got a job as a janitor, and uh, one, two, three, three years, four years. I have gout now. I, I guess I don't even really know what that is, but I think it's not good. So I'm, I'm being a little more smarter. We're, we're gathering a little bit of mon money while not failing the challenge. That way we don't get screwed. We were in debt, and that's what we did. We weren't. I mean, our smarts were low. So our smarts are a little better this time. Our looks are 99% and the scary part about this is that I'll get plastic surgery and it could fail. So maybe we should just do something really simple um, like a Botox. Yeah, yeah, okay, that worked. That was that went so well. So I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, the hardest part about this is the, is the you know, getting divorced. How, how do I make someone hate me? To where like there it is their fault that they break up with us like that's the thing so we got a boyfriend and and i don't know how much money he has okay you discover that your boyfriend cheated on you what will you do well how much i mean how much money does he have wait is this is this oh i'm so heartbroken is this actually how it feels to be cheated on oh okay i will forgive and forget oh he's so he's had law school he's a magistrate at the city of regina that's good i think okay so we're getting married let's plan that wedding we, we gotta get the cog wheels moving he only has 42 that freaking dating app is a liar it doesn't work like i thought it would you know what we're calling I'm, I'm just breaking up with him <laughs> sorry this is i just can't i can't do that no money hi hugo hi <laughs> he's a firefighter oh <sighs> okay we're depressed but that's fine okay it's been a few years i really 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 want to have a baby with him now he does not want to that, that always makes <sighs> okay maybe he wants to get married what are they even here for if they don't want these things he rejected it my lord oh my god five it's been five years i really need money give me your money now okay he doesn't want to get married you know what? screw you waste of time i'm 34 i don't have time for this mom can i please have some money <laughs> oh <laughs> i asked for some money she gave me forty eight thousand dollars. I'm gonna I'm fixing to date my mom right now. Hey mom. <laughs> That's so horrible. I I know. It's a dumb joke. I'm just saying like we're going for money here. That's it's not right, okay? It's it's a joke. It's a stupid joke. My mother's doing it again! I, I will I will argue with her. I will ask her for more money later. You know what? We're we're 37 now. And he's asking me out. I mean, I ask him on a date. Sure. I'll take anything. You want to get married? Huh? Not really excited about it. I'm a failure. I'm 40 and I don't have any men with money. He is crazy though. <laughs> oh, yay. We're getting married. So his net worth is $56,000. Uh, if, we, if we're going to get half of that, like that's not, that's not what we need. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, I'll get more plastic surgery. Oh, wait, no. What's, oh my God. I went to jail again. I, uh, can I just stay out of... 
This isn't this isn't working. This is none, none of this is working. My mother's dead. Okay. All right, I'm divorcing this dude. Let Logan get out of here. Oh wait, no. Isn't it when you don't sign a prenup that's how you get the money? I've been doing this all wrong. My father died and I got four hundred thousand dollars. Does that count? <gasps> oh my god. Okay. So I've been sitting here. It's like my fourth or fifth life. My fiance Ryan, his network, his network. Wow. His net worth is three hundred thirty thousand. We've done it. I mean, we're doing pretty good for ourselves. We were a stripper. I'm just saying. But I'm starting to sweat bullets right now. I'm straight up looking up the definition of prenup right now. I, I don't- I, I just, I'm reading the definition. I still don't understand it. <laughs> I have a big decision to make and I don't know what to pick. Because every time I make them sign it, they always- they- I never get any money. So what the heck am I supposed to do? I'm gonna not do it. I hope this is the right thing to do. Oh, but he's demanding that I do it. Oh, from my understanding what it is, basically, instead of the court deciding where your stuff goes, you guys agree on where it goes. So he could actually be nice and just say, like, if I die or we get divorced, you can have money. So should I kill him? I mean, <laughs> agree to sign a prenup. I'll even take his name, Lopez. I am now Mr. Lopez. I, I honestly, I don't know. Should I kill him? I think I should kill him. Because if we kill him and get away with it, then we'll get the money. But we should wait a few years because we don't want it to be suspicious. Okay, so I read into it and it seems like a prenup is very, very bad. And that's what I thought from the beginning. So looks like we're going to have to kill him and hopefully we'll get the money. I, I need the money. <laughs> we'll club them. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Three, two, one. <laughs> I just wanted money. <laughs> Going to prison for 40 years. He wants a divorce. Beg him to stay. No, he didn't want to. And I didn't get any money. And I'm in debt. And I'm I'm just going worse in debt. My oh my mom died. Thousand dollars. <sighs> Today's scrub of the day goes to Night Spear. Thank you for your challenge, but I felt I tried so many times and I'm sure I could get it But I've been here for almost an hour and 30 minutes. You know what? Why try to force it? I'm not a, I'm not a gold digger at heart turns out I am a good person Well, I did try to murder my husband. So you you be the judge. <laughs> Please go easy on me. Try it out for yourself guys uh, t Let me know if you if you pass it uh, Yeah Leave more challenges down below, okay? Also, I'll probably be looking at some more, but yeah, as always, guys, leave your challenges down below. Subscribe for more BitLife. Again, don't forget to check out the PewDiePie wine. I actually had a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun doing all of these BitLives. So if you enjoy that, do hit subscribe, and yeah, I'll see y'all scrubs in the next one. Bye, guys. I wasn't planning on it.